2025 could be an explosive year for researchers at Oregon State University. They're predicting an undersea volcano called Axial Seamount will erupt sometime this year. In this video, we uncover 10 mysterious and game-changing discoveries made in Oregon in 2025. Revelations that are rewriting what we thought we knew about the land beneath our feet. The ancient people who once lived there and the strange signals rising from the depths. What secrets lie hidden in Oregon's volcanoes, forests, and forgotten tunnels? Stay tuned, because what scientists just found may change everything. Axial Seamount's imminent eruption. Just 300 miles off Oregon's coast, something monstrous is stirring beneath the waves. Something scientists say could explode any day now. As of April 2025, the Axial Seamount has entered a state of rapid transformation, with over 1,000 earthquakes shaking its flanks every single day. The ocean floor is literally ballooning upward by more than 20 centimeters, twice the rate observed before its last eruption in 2015. But what's truly terrifying isn't just the inflation, it's what it might mean. Thermal cameras have picked up glowing fissures in the basalt, and plumes of helium-3, a rare gas from Earth's mantle, are rising with sulfur-rich vents. One side of the volcano is inflating faster than the other, a lopsided pressure buildup that geologists warn could lead to sudden dike formation and violent rupture. Could this underwater titan unleash a chain reaction, setting off tsunamis or triggering stress along the Cascadia subduction zone? If the seafloor cracks open under this pressure, it won't be gentle. This could become the largest submarine eruption in the Northeast Pacific in decades or longer. Scientists have deployed deep sea drones and real-time sensors in a desperate effort to capture every signal, every tremor, every rising plume. Adding to the urgency, new acoustic monitoring has detected harmonic tremors. Long, low-frequency seismic waves associated with magma movement, originating from depths up to five kilometers beneath the caldera. These tremors, rarely recorded outside of active eruption sequences, are growing more frequent and coherent. Ocean bottom hydrophones have also picked up infrasound pulses, ultra-low frequency sound waves that appear to coincide with shifts in vent activity and ground deformation. Meanwhile, deep sea temperature anomalies show that parts of the seafloor near the summit are heating rapidly, in some areas by as much as four to five degrees Celsius over a matter of weeks. Scientists believe this is caused by increased hydrothermal flux, a telltale sign that magma is nearing the surface and superheating surrounding rock and water. The U.S. Navy has even joined the monitoring effort due to the potential impact on undersea cables and defense infrastructure. Will this volcano strike without warning, unleashing chaos from below? Or are we merely witnessing the first breath of something even more colossal? One thing is clear, the clock is ticking beneath the Pacific, and the next move belongs to the Earth. Our University of Oregon researchers have discovered a huge underground aquifer under the crest of the Cascades. Researchers mapped the aquifer buried beneath volcanic rock at the crest of the Central Oregon Cascades. Massive underground aquifer discovered. In January 2025, Researchers identified a colossal underground aquifer beneath Oregon's Cascade Range, containing an estimated 21 trillion gallons of water, nearly three times the capacity of Lake Mead. This hidden reservoir, located deep within ancient volcanic rock, could be one of the largest untapped freshwater sources in the western United States. Scientists believe it was formed during a period of intense glacial melting tens of thousands of years ago and has remained largely sealed off from the surface ever since. Advanced imaging and borehole drilling revealed the aquifer's astonishing scale and depth, extending for dozens of miles beneath the mountain range. The water is unusually pure, shielded from contamination by thick basalt layers and geologic insulation. Hydrologists 
are now studying the aquifer's recharge rate and pressure dynamics to determine whether it could be sustainably tapped as a backup supply for drought-prone areas. Its discovery has raised hopes of a future water security buffer, especially as Oregon and neighboring states face increasingly erratic rainfall patterns. Environmental experts caution, however, that extracting water from such ancient sources must be done with extreme care to avoid long-term ecological damage or triggering subsidence in surrounding landforms. Some propose designating the aquifer as a protected reserve to ensure it isn't overexploited. Beyond its practical potential, the aquifer is also helping scientists understand past climate shifts in the Pacific Northwest. Isotopic analyses from water samples are being used to reconstruct paleo-environmental conditions, offering a window into Oregon's climate thousands of years ago. This remarkable discovery stands at the intersection of urgent resource management and deep-time scientific exploration, one that could shape both policy and knowledge for decades to come. Reopening of Mitchell Point Tunnel. After being closed for over 70 years, the historic Mitchell Point Tunnel in the Columbia River Gorge reopened in March 2025. Originally built in 1915 as part of the visionary historic Columbia River Highway, the tunnel was renowned for its series of arched windows carved into the cliffside, offering panoramic views of the river below. Its restoration marks a major milestone in Oregon's commitment to preserving both historical infrastructure and public access to natural beauty. The reconstruction effort, led by the Oregon Department of Transportation and supported by local historical societies, involved careful stonework to replicate the original architecture while integrating modern reinforcements for safety and durability. The tunnel now serves as a pedestrian and bicycle path seamlessly connecting a once disjointed segment of the historic Highway State Trail between Hood River and Mosier. The reopening has been met with enthusiasm from cyclists, hikers, and heritage enthusiasts alike. Interpretive signs throughout the trail provide insight into the history of the highway, the geology of the Columbia River Gorge, and the engineering marvels of early 20th century road construction. Solar-powered lighting has been discreetly embedded to guide visitors through the tunnel's interior without detracting from its historic ambiance. Beyond tourism and recreation, the Mitchell Point Tunnel Project has revitalized interest in sustainable trail design and adaptive reuse of infrastructure. Planners hope it will serve as a model for similar restoration projects across the U.S. The tunnel's dramatic cliffside location also provides opportunities for environmental education, with local schools incorporating it into field trip programs that highlight the convergence of natural forces and human ingenuity in shaping Oregon's landscapes. In a state known for innovation and environmental stewardship, the return of the Mitchell Point Tunnel is both a nod to Oregon's past and a bold step toward enriching its future. Archaeological Roadshow highlights ancient artifacts. The 13th Annual Archaeology Roadshow in Portland, held in May 2025, showcased numerous exhibits and activities, with a special focus on the archaeology of art and craft. Held at Portland State University, the event attracted hundreds of visitors, from school groups to amateur historians, all eager to explore Oregon's past through hands-on exhibits and expert-led demonstrations. One of the highlights of the roadshow was a live artifact analysis station where archaeologists from the Oregon Historical Society examined items brought in by attendees. From indigenous stone tools to pioneer era ceramics, these artifacts sparked fascinating conversations about migration, trade, and settlement patterns across the Pacific Northwest. Another popular attraction was a 3D scanning booth, allowing visitors to digitally preserve their family heirloom and learn how modern technology is transforming archaeology. In addition, the roadshow 
introduced a new traveling exhibit that will visit schools and libraries throughout Oregon in late 2025, ensuring that the learning and inspiration extend beyond a single weekend. With its mix of tradition and innovation, the 2025 Archaeology Roadshow has helped redefine public engagement with the ancient past. It highlighted the importance of preserving cultural heritage while embracing new ways of discovery, offering a powerful reminder that history is not just studied, it's shared, lived, and passed forward. New Research Forest near Portland. In February 2025, Oregon State University acquired over 3,000 acres of forest land near Forest Park in Portland to establish a new research forest, one of the largest urban adjacent forest research sites in the Pacific Northwest. This initiative aims not only to support advanced forestry research, but also to serve as a hub for climate science, biodiversity monitoring, and sustainable land management practices. The site includes old growth stand, riparian zone, and recovering clear-cut areas, offering a unique living laboratory for understanding forest dynamics over time. Researchers at OSU plan to conduct long-term ecological studies, examining how climate change, wildfire risk, and urban development impact Oregon's forest ecosystems. Early projects include carbon sequestration mapping, native species habitat restoration, and testing low-impact trail construction techniques. The university is partnering with local high schools and community colleges to provide students with access to real-world fieldwork and data collection experience, sparking a new generation of forest scientists and land stewards. Public access is a key part of the project's vision. Over 10 miles of multi-use trails are already in planning, designed to balance recreation with ecosystem protection. These trails will connect with existing networks in Forest Park, making the research forest an integral part of Portland's outdoor life while serving an educational purpose. Discovery of Ancient Human Habitation Sites In March 2025, Archaeologists revealed groundbreaking evidence of early human habitation in Southern Oregon, dating back more than 18,000 years. This discovery, made through excavations near the Klamath Basin, includes a remarkable collection of stone tools, charred plant remains, and hearth features embedded in well-preserved sediment layers. These artifacts suggest sustained, organized activity in the region during a time when much of North America was still under ice. The tools, composed of obsidian, basalt, and chert, exhibit precise flaking techniques and stylistic patterns distinct from later Clovis era technologies, strengthening the argument that humans occupied the Pacific Northwest far earlier than previously thought. Local indigenous groups have been involved in the interpretation of the site, providing oral histories and traditional ecological knowledge that enrich the scientific narrative. Collaborative efforts are now underway to preserve the area and conduct further research using non-invasive techniques such as ground-penetrating radar and remote sensing. Altogether, this discovery reshapes our understanding of early human life in Oregon and underscores the region's importance as a key chapter in the human story across North America. Crooked River Caldera's Geological Significance The Crooked River Caldera, a massive 29.5 million-year-old volcanic structure in central Oregon, was thrust into the spotlight once again in April 2025 after a team of geologists published new findings based on high-resolution satellite imagery, drone-based photogrammetry, and subsurface radar mapping. These studies revealed a previously uncharted system of ancient lava conduits, collapsed chambers, and fault-aligned fissures that indicate the caldera was part of a much larger and more complex volcanic network than previously believed. The new data shows that the Crooked River caldera may have once interacted with the nearby Ochoco volcanic field, suggesting periodic magma exchange or shared seismic triggers between systems. This theory, if confirmed, could redefine models of regional tectonic stress and magma migration, 
throughout the high lava plains of eastern Oregon. Additionally, the discovery of embedded ash layers with unique geochemical signatures hints at explosive events whose impact may have extended hundreds of miles. Paleobotanists have also joined the study analyzing fossilized plant material preserved in the caldera's layered sediments. These records help reconstruct the ancient climate and ecosystems that existed before, during, and after major eruptions. Some species identified are now extinct or only found in fossil beds, offering a glimpse into Oregon's prehistoric biodiversity. The caldera's new recognition has sparked interest in designating the surrounding area as a geologic heritage site. Mount Hood swells with magma while Oregon's hidden faults shift quietly. In May 2025, geologists from the USGS and Portland State University detected subtle but consistent inflation beneath Mount Hood's crater, attributed to new lava dome activity. High-resolution INSAR imagery and GPS monitoring revealed a 5-centimeter uplift over a three-week period accompanied by a spike in low-frequency seismic tremors. While not indicative of an imminent eruption, experts warn that this dome activity reflects pressurization within the volcano's shallow magma system. The event has prompted increased monitoring and a recalibration of the volcanic alert level to advisory. Recent gas emission data from fumaroles around Mount Hood show elevated levels of carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide both considered early indicators of magmatic intrusion. Additionally, thermal imaging conducted via drone flights has detected localized hotspots near the summit, suggesting that molten material may be rising closer to the surface. Though no visible deformation has occurred on the surface cone, scientists are watching for signs such as ground cracking or steam venting that could indicate more aggressive volcanic changes. The potential implications extend beyond just the mountain itself. Mount Hood is one of Oregon's most visited peaks and sits near key infrastructure, including water reservoirs, hydroelectric systems, and major highways. Unusual fault slip detected in the Oregon Coast Range. Also in May 2025, a research team from Oregon State University reported a previously undocumented slow-slip event occurring deep beneath the central Oregon Coast Range. Using a network of seismic stations and GPS arrays, scientists identified a gradual shift along a buried fault segment that had not shown movement in over a century. Unlike fast earthquakes, this event unfolded over several weeks without surface shaking, but it released significant stress that could affect nearby faults. Geologists believe this may be a crucial piece in understanding how strain builds along the Cascadia subduction zone and could improve future earthquake forecasting for the Pacific Northwest. Additionally, the slow slip has raised questions about how these hidden movements might subtly impact groundwater systems, volcanic plumbing, or even the migration of certain gas emissions. New proposals are being drafted for expanded seismic instrumentation throughout the coast range to catch these events earlier and build a better predictive framework for understanding the region's complex tectonics. As one seismologist put it, it's the quiet ones you have to watch. These 10 discoveries aren't just rewriting Oregon's scientific record, they're raising new questions about what lies beneath our feet and what could happen next. Are we standing on the edge of a deeper transformation, geological, ecological, or even historical, let us know in the comments. Which of these discoveries surprised you the most? Was it the rising magma under Mount Hood, the ancient aquifer hidden in volcanic rock, or the mysterious signals off the Oregon coast? If you're fascinated by the Earth's hidden forces, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss our next dive into the planet's most shocking secrets. Because when it comes to Oregon's depths, We've only scratched the surface.